welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing another day in the life, follow me around type video. I've got a few errands to run, so I thought I would take you guys with me. I have actually just finished doing my makeup and I really like this little desk setup I have as kind of like a makeup background, plus I get to stand while filming as well, so it's so easy. Also, I do have like a desk makeover video. If you've not seen that, I'll leave it as a link in the description. But recently, I have been trying out a new foundation. I've been using the Rimmel Fresher Skin SPF uh, foundation, so it's great having an SPF in it now that we're coming up to the warmer weather here in Australia and I have the color 200 soft beige because I am currently tanned and I just really like how it works as a everyday foundation it's really lightweight it's quite light coverage as well and it's just nice as an everyday foundation I also have combination skin so I'm quite oily down the center of my face and a little bit more dry around the outsides and it's worked really really well it lasts really well in the day it's also sweat and humidity resistant and it doesn't clog pores and it's filled with natural mineral powders that help absorb the excess oils and control shine so that's why it lasts really well throughout the day and I think if you have combination skin and you like a lightweight sort of fresh summery type foundation then you should definitely check out that one I don't use a powder with it at all as well I like that kind of dewy fresh look that it gives and I've also just been applying it with a real techniques like damp sponge and it just seems to blend really nice and sit really nicely on the skin so I would definitely recommend uh, checking it out if you do like lightweight foundations and do have combination skin and also to go with their new products they also have a new range of cream blushes and I've never really used cream blushes before but they have the most adorable Adorable packaging. These are called the Royal Blush Cream Br Blush, and this one is 003 in Coral Queen. But they have a range of really cute colors, and they're super pigmented. It blends so nicely with my foundation, and it just gives this nice natural color glow to the cheeks that I love. And I can keep building it up if I want to make it a little bit more intense. And I just like this whole cream and dewiness, and they just work really, really well together. So, uh, yeah, just finished my makeup, and I am just about to change because. This shirt that I'm wearing literally has like foundation and holes all down the front of it I have like a few crappy t-shirts that I just wear around the house So I'm gonna get changed into like regular clothes and I'm gonna head out I need to go to Coles, pick up a few things for videos and whatnot and maybe get something to eat because I'm a little bit hungry So let's go <laughs> What are you doing? You're attacking my pillows You're so cute, but you're so aggressive at the same time Hello Knees out. So I've made my way to Bunnings because I really want to get some potting mix. I'm pretty sure the smallest size bag of potting mix is 25 liters, which is kind of annoying because I don't need that much, but I do want to start getting some actual live plants in my apartment. Like I have a couple now, but I would like to be planting my own. So I've come to kind of have a little bit of a look and get some potting mix. There's so many pretty flowers at the moment as well. So this is the potting mix that I got and I spent so long walking around the store trying to find the 
like small bags because this is only a six liter bag uh it took me forever but then i finally found it and i got a little bag because there are some other things that i want to do in the future which will definitely be videos in the new year so stick around for those so i've popped my little aloe vera plant that i diy'd in my other video that's up on my channel i'll have it listed below if you're interested in seeing what i did with the aloe vera plant but i've popped it here in the kitchen next to my cooktop and my dish rack and i just think it's like a nice little addition to my kitchen <music> Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You're really hungry. So I find it really weird that I feel like society expects you to go out and have dinner or lunch with other people or with someone else. Like, I feel like everyone gives you a really weird look when you're just like, I'll have a table for one. I'm like, sorry, but I just want to go and treat myself to a nice meal and chill out by myself. And people think it's really weird. Like they, it's like, Oh, you're alone? And I'm like, there's nothing wrong with being alone. I enjoy being alone. I enjoy going out to lunches and dinner being alone. I get to just be chilled and kind of just have me time. And it's really frustrating when people kind of, you know, look at you weird. Even people walking by, like, look at you weird. And I'm like, just let me be here alone in peace and have my delicious meal. There's nothing wrong with eating alone. There's nothing wrong with being alone and spending time alone. I really enjoy it and in saying that too like just because I go out for maybe one or two meals a week alone I go out for a couple more with friends or family or whatever so I do like both I have both sides and now that I've spent so much time alone I could not imagine going back to the person I was a few years ago where I was constantly around people and always with someone and having a boyfriend and everything like now that I know this other side of being alone and having me time I don't think I could ever go back to being constantly around people because I don't know I just feel so free and I really enjoy just kind of being with my thoughts it's I don't know it's something nice to me but yeah I just thought I would mention that about my lunch just I don't know I think it's completely normal to go out for lunch and dinner alone and it was a delicious lunch it was actually more like a breakfast as a lunch but you know how I feel about avocado on toast so it was really really good so yeah I've been to Bunnings um worked on my DIY which is awesome I made my little aloe vera just before my, my little aloe vera plant so awesome. Um, I'm also loving my filming setup. I went and stole Lucas's um, other camera lens. I have one, but my mom has it, and I just thought I would go and use his to test it out whether I want to take it back off my mom or not. Sorry, mom. Uh, which I'm probably going to take it back off her unless he doesn't want the lens and I can just keep borrowing his. But I really like it because it's like a, a macro lens and it's a super zoomed lens, so I've been enjoying that. Um, but yeah, Lucas also has a YouTube channel. I'll leave it listed in the description. You should totally check it out. And uh, yeah, I am just gonna keep working away on some video stuff and just chilling out and just chilling out with my kitty who's got so much energy. Well, now that he's eating, not so much energy, but was running around like crazy. <laughs> question how do you guys normally cut your mangoes I bought a couple of mangoes the other day because they're actually really quite cheap at Coles and I'm so excited because we're going into summer here so it's gonna be all that like awesome summer fruit which I'm so excited about so I've just uh, cut myself up a mango and I don't know it just depends on what mood I'm in sometimes I slice off the sides and fan them out like this and then I just peel off the two sides on that one and then just kind of chew on the seed other times I'll slice it like four ways and peel off the skin and then kind of eat the mango off the skin and then just go in on like the large chunky mango but yeah let me know in the comments below what way you cut your mango the kitty is like scratching all over the walls and playing around but yeah it's starting to get late even though it's still quite sunny which makes me excited because summer's coming it means it's gonna get dark really really late but it is getting dark and it is getting late so i'm gonna end my vlog here eat my mango and edit some videos so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you have please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're new up the top here you can check out my last video down the bottom i'll leave a link to another day in the life vlog and i will see you guys in my next video bye